You are now watching Zach Lesage PTCG. Let's get it. Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to Zach Lesage PTCG. Today, we're gonna be going over our first Shining Fates deck profile, and that one's gonna be featuring ADP Zation. So for those of you who don't know, Shining Fates was released, and it's being, you can play it on PTCGO right now. It's not legal for official events, but good thing to know, we don't really have any official events going on beyond our team challenges and our Players' Cup 3 event. So if you haven't heard, heard about those, feel free to ask me below in the comments. Today, ADP Zation, we added a Rusted Sword to the deck, changed a few other things off to make it well positioned into this meta game. And Rusted Sword doing the extra 30 damage on your Zation V card really allows you to push some large numbers that brings ADP Zation to a much more competitive level. So in this video, I'm going to showcase exactly what my list looks like to you. I'm going to showcase some games that I've played, wins or losses. I know y'all have been liking when I lose games. It makes me feel like a it's, it's a humbling experience. Losing a game of Pokemon is a humbling experience. And yeah, if you're looking for any of the cards in this video, feel free to go to ptcgeostore.com, plug in code Zilasage 5 to save 5% on your next order of codes. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Let's try to get to 1500 subs. Anyways, let's jump into this deck list and away we go. So here we are back at Zach Lesage PTCG looking at another ADP Zation deck profile. Now, you might have noticed that I cover this deck quite a few times, and I try to cover the top decks quite a few times per month. The reason why I do that is to keep you updated with what the top lists are looking like, and with Shining Fates just being released a mere few days ago online, I've already come up with a, a very stellar concept, adding in Rested Sword from Shining Fates into this ADP Zation deck. So, if you're new to the game, um, maybe you picked up one of those League Battle Zation decks, or maybe you're an ADP fanatic, or however else you're stumbling on the channel, I mean, this is truly a competitive deck. This is exactly what I would transform a League Battle deck in. Pick up some codes at ptcgostore.com to, to complete the remaining cards. And let me explain to you exactly what this deck does, in case you're a little bit new to the game, Feel free to skip to the gameplay if you don't need to know this part. Um, ADP allows you to do extra damage with its Altered Creation GX attack, but if you attach a Metal and a Water Energy, you can go ahead and draw an extra prize card every single time you knock out one of your opponent's active Pokemon by damage. Um, it has built-in acceleration for Ultimate Ray, so it has great synergy with Zacian V because Zacian V adds... Um, consistency with Intrepid Sword, drawing cards, energy acceleration with Intrepid Sword, and it's a strong basic attack that focuses off of metal energies. There's a slew of other techs that we play in this deck, such as Crobat V to draw extra cards, the Den HGX to draw extra cards. The only difference why we play a split between Crobat and the Den HGX is because the Den HGX allows you to pitch your hand, and you can only use one copy of, um, you can only use one Crobat per turn, only one to Dene per turn. Um, we play more to Dene because there is Cherish Ball in this deck. It has synergy with the Arceus to Algapalkia. Elder Goss allows you to get back some supporters. Um, Desi Goons recently did very well at the GG Tour Online Regional Championships. Um, so I think that Desi Goons and Altaria decks are kind of going to be all the rage for the next little bit. I think Aegislash V is a very safe choice to be adding into the deck. Um, just so you have a chance to beat those decks. Because Sonic Edge goes through their attacks that blocks the V, V Max, GX, all that stuff. Um... Mawile GX is to get more GX and V Pokemon, or just unwanted Pokemon down from your opponent's hands. Um, very good against Eternatus VMAX. In a world where there's no Desigoons or Altaria decks, I would cut the, Al the I would cut the Aegis Slash for a second Mawile GX, so that you have a very good chance against beating Eternatus. Um, like I said, Zacian V, strong attacker, really adds you to Z uh, the Rusted Sword into the deck. Cherish Ball, allowing you to search your deck for some GX cards, the Dene GX, um, Mawile GX, or ADP, Energy Spinner allowing you to get that turn 1 Altered Creation or the turn 2 Altered Creation pretty guaranteed, Energy Switch allowing you to go Metal Saucer onto a Zacian, moving that energy to the active, pretty self-explanatory if you're watching it, um, the same way that you want to just knock out GX and V Pokemon, um, knocking out two two prize card Pokemon, it's now knocking out two three prize card Pokemon, so the Dedenne GX sitting on your opponent's bench is a great catcher away. This allows you to play cards such as Professor's Research um, to and guess something up in the same turn. Metal Saucer accelerating energies is going to be great, and with a low energy count of only 11, it allows you to kind of build them back. Quick Ball searching out any Pokemon in this deck. Switch is just a format staple at this point. Got Boss's Orders so we could bring up whatever we want. We got Leon. So the reason why we added Leon in here is so that we could hit some very specific numbers. So we're doing 230 base. And this get where the part where the deck gets a little bit uh, headachey. So 230 base plus ADP. So that's 260. 260 plus Rusted Sword means that you're knocking out 
most other tag team Pokemon, if not all tag team Pokemon, at 290. At 320 damage, you're able to knock out Pokemon such as Senescorch VMAX in a single blow, which is definitely going to improve this deck's chances of against beating that matchup. So Senescorch would often just like steamroll ADP. Now I think with Leon, Rusted Sword, you actually have a good chance of beating Senescorch. So we'll have to see exactly how it goes. A lot of it's still um, under tested because there hasn't been that much time for the set online. So of course, if there's any changes that I make that are significant, I'm going to update this deck profile sooner than later. But um, I think the Leon card is really hot to hit that 320 threshold but being able to hit 320 and 320 damage for a basic pokemon that you could accelerate in one turn is absolutely massive um marnie just a single copy to shuffle your opponent's hand you could always get it back with eldegoss same thing with boss's orders and the leon you could get those back with eldegoss research because you just need to draw into cards air balloon allows you to reset brave blade and just get of otherwise awkward situations rest sort of remember it's only for zacian v and then we have enough metal energies to make this deck kind of work together. So overall, I mean, I think we got a pretty hot deck here. Um, the Rusted Sword really adding that element along with the Leon, hitting those large numbers that were just impossible to hit before or very unlikely to hit before. So we'll see exactly in some of the gameplay how this deck works. Um, at the time of recording, uh, we're going to see exactly how it works. I'm, I'm super excited. So let's jump into some gameplay and see exactly what's up. All right, we're uh, letting Chris K call the coin flip. And we lost a coin flip. Hopefully we get to go first. We want to go first with our deck. For the most part, a lot of decks want to go second in format, which makes ADP well positioned. And this hand's actually pretty good. Um, I don't know entirely which Pokemon I want to start with because of the whole air balloon situation. But I do have access to switch. So I think I am probably going to go into the Zacian V here. Um, remember, you got it. You can't attach air balloon and rusted sword to your opponent's poke or to the same Pokemon. So keep that in mind when you're playing this deck, you can only have one tool attached per Pokemon. And I know that sounds like a pretty simple rule, um, but sometimes you're going to need to be stuck in the active position like this. And we normally just put that up because of Air Balloon, but um, that's fine. We didn't put up the Aegis Slash because it has three retreat costs and the Air Balloon would not work. And I don't necessarily know if I want to play it down. So let's see what we could top deck here. Top deck Cherish Ball and our opponent's playing Celebi Venusaur GX. This is actually probably going to be great with the Rusted Sword in our deck. So let's go Cherish Ball here. Um, into an ADP. want to check through our prize cards quickly. So we do have um, a couple metal energies prized, but we do have access to water energies. We do have our other rusted sword. So we are going to go ahead here and grab this ADP out of our deck. We do want to attach the metal energy for the most part first. The big reason why we want to attach the metal energy first is because if our opponent plays crushing hammer, we could always go metal saucer energy, switch it away. Um, Let's uh, go ahead here. I don't think we're going to need Aegis Slash V in this matchup. Really only good against Desi Goons and Altaria. And I'm going to make a I'm going to make assumption that our opponent does not play those cards. Um, Dedenne GX because we're going to pitch this entire hand. I mean, I could have gone Crobat, but we have more Dedenne's than Crobats in our deck. So let's go ahead here. Go Rusted Sword. Let's go here. Air Balloon. Let's just get our switch out of the way um, because I'd rather just have the switch now. We naturally have it. And let's go for the Dedenne GX here. So, I mean, I feel pretty good about what we got going on here. We got the water energy for next turn. I don't really want to play anything else. So, I'm just going to go ahead here and go for Intrepid Sword. Um, hopefully hitting a metal energy. But that's completely fine that we didn't. Probably just going to go for an Altered Creation GX. Trying to get this set up for a knockout. So, next turn after we use Altered Creation GX, Brave Blade is going to be doing 260. And then with the Rusted Sword, it's going to be doing 290. Being able to draw four prize cards off the Celebi Venusaur GX in a single blow. So I don't know entirely what our opponent's going to do here. Marnie's fine. Um, we do have quite a large hands. So that's, that's something definitely to um, consider there. So not bad. You can see Quick Ball can always be transformed into something else. Um, such as a Crobat, Dedenne GX... Things such as that. So our opponent seems like they're playing some kind of Rawag deck. They're probably going to retreat into either Mewtwo or Rawag. Mewtwo is probably more versatile. This could be an awkward matchup for sure. We really want to get that Altered Creation GX off this turn at any cost. Because they can use um, their GX Attack Tropical Hour GX to shuffle all of our energies back. So there's a Zacian. I mean, I think I'm going to go forward and just kind of play that down. Um, at this point, I'm going to pitch my entire hand away. I don't want another Zacian for this game. And again, Dedenne GX because we want to draw as many cards as possible here. No point of playing Switch because there's nothing with Free Retreat. 
or an air balloon. Uh, we already have that on the active. So let's go to Den AGX, trying to get that water energy. Um, no luck with the water energy here. So that part's quite unfortunate. Um, I am going to go ahead and quick ball because we can go ahead here and get a metal saucer um, kind of going on. So we have the metal saucer. I'm actually going to go for crowbats. Could have gone for something else, maybe. I should have actually probably gone for something else, maybe. Um, I should have grabbed something because I could have drawn one more card with that. Now, I haven't really played a supporter, so I am going to go ahead and try to fix my mistake by just grabbing nothing here. Let's go Metal Saucer. Power that up here. And then we can go Energy Switch from there to there because we always want the Pokemon with the Rusted Sword because it's doing more damage. So a little bit of a mistake on my behalf, but we did get the water energy. We do have access to a few things. So I'm feeling pretty, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I am going to leave this hand because we do have access to energy switch. We do have access to Leon. Um, I feel pretty good about this hand and I don't necessarily want to pitch it away with research right now. So I am going to go ahead here and go altered creation GX. And now I'm drawing extra prize cards, doing extra damage. So in terms of a setup, this is extremely ideal. Um, beyond my little slip up with the quick ball, I, again, I probably should have grabbed another ADP, something that I felt comfortable discarding out of the deck. Pokemon that aren't necessarily um, needed for any particular matchup. Um, that would have been really good, but um, saved it with the Juniper. A little bit risky on my behalf. And my opponent's just going to scoop because they already see exactly what's going to happen there. Okay, so... Playing against Harrison Ford, shout out to you if you're watching this video. Uh, hopefully you get a chance to check it out, see the game. So our opponent's going to be going first, and that's fine. Um, I don't entirely know how I want to start this game off. Um, with no draw supporters in hands, Mawile GX is going to be the default. And if our opponent's starting first, um, they're likely playing something like Colossal VMAX, or maybe ADP themselves. Maybe they're going to go with Zacian V. Um... Trumbeak Lightning Energy. Not entirely sure how that's going to work or what that is, but that's what PDCGO Ladder is uh, the fun part about it is. So we'll see exactly what they start with their active Pokemon, and we'll see if we're able to get off a turn one Altered Creation GX. Um, it's not a bad card to draw, I guess. Um, don't want to put the Denai down. And there's that Pick a Peck. Okay, so it's a Reshiram. Reshiram. Um, Amazing rare deck being able to do 270. That can definitely be a little bit scary. This seems like a very cool concept. Um, and it might be a little bit spooky to play against. Maybe ADP would do fine against it. But we're drawing two prize cards. They're drawing two prize cards. Um, it really depends if they play GX Pokemon, V Pokemon in this deck. I'm not, I'm not particularly sure how it works. But... Um, Maybe I'll, maybe I'll cover a deck like this on the channel in the future. I'm still waiting to get a few Shining Fates cards, so. Elder Goss is not really going to do anything, so. First things first, I'm going to go ahead here and go Air Balloon. Air Balloon sounds good because we can always get to the active spots. Um, I don't really want to play anything else down here. Obviously, I can't play Switch, Rusted Sword, none of those cards. Elder Goss, there's no supporters. So it's more or less, do I want to play Leon or not? That's the way that I would analyze this hand. Um, the answer is not. I want to get set up, preferably with a turn one ADP here. So let's go to Denny Jex, goodbye hands, and see what's going on here. So, I mean, this isn't going to particularly work out well. I know that um, I'm going to struggle to get set up here, so I'm going to go ahead and go Zacian V, because ADP is not really going to allow me to get my board set up a little bit more. So let's go here, double check to make sure that I'm still able to go for the Altered Creation. You see I have all the water energies, got my Rusted Sword. Make sure that you're thoroughly checking through your prize cards for the sake of the video. Um, I'm going to just briefly check through my prize cards, but I do have a video where you can check through your prize cards thoroughly. Um, Zacian V, I'm going to attach the energy to the Zacian V, and I'm going to go ahead and go for Intrepid Sword. No energy is there, but you can see I have the turn 2 Altered Creation in hand with the ADP Water Energy Energy Switch. Which could be quite hot. Now, I don't know if our opponent plays Galarian Zigzagoon, if they play Leon, if they play anything that can modify this damage to do more than 270. Because uh, ADP is sitting here with a thin hair more. Um, and I'd rather it survive than not survive. Um, but yeah, my I think I think our opponents here is definitely going to try to win the game um, relatively quickly. I, I, I'm not sure what type of engine they have. Maybe they're holding on to their Dedenne GXs in hands. Sucks that the Mawile GX start is there. 
So you wanna what? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go all in here. So there's ADP, water energy, energy switch from here to here, metal saucer to the Zacian V, and there's really not much else that I care about in my hand. I only think I need to finish off the game with ADP, Mawile, and Zacian V. I'm not gonna be playing the switch, so I'm gonna go ahead, um, just double checking that I could retreat before I say I don't need the switch, and then I'm gonna go to Den AGX. You don't want to, you want to make sure that there's like no Absalom Field or Galar Mine or anything else like that. Um, I do need to draw extra prize cards this game, so that is certainly a fact. Let's go ahead here and retreat, and I'm gonna go for Altered Creation GX. So now, really throwing the game back at my opponents, how will it work out? I feel if I'm able to get off an ultimate ray before they knock me out with amazing blaze if they can knock me out with amazing blaze i'm in a pretty good spot um, amazing blaze is also a hard attack to power up as you can see it costs three weird energies so the fact that they're going first is pretty beneficial here for me i just really don't know much about this deck again like i said um, shining fates is a weird <laughs> release it's one of those mini set releases um look at pick a pick attach any number of basic energy cards you find there to your pokemon in any way you like uh, <laughs> oh my, this is crazy. Um, yeah, not not entirely sure how confident I feel against this deck. Don't know entirely sure what the matchup is. My opponent still needs a little bit more. They still need those lightning energies. They can get the lightning energy, and they haven't been able to retreat yet. Marty, I'm almost completely fine with here as well. Um, I should be able to find an energy here and get powered up. I just don't know if they play Zigzagoon or not. I really hope there's no Zigzagoon because they can certainly get the knockout with a Zigzagoon. Um, they can't use Leon. Um, so maybe Vitality Bands or Zigzagoon. If I were building this deck, I think I'd probably include those just because I think ADP is very popular. There's the Quick Ball. Let's see it. Am I going to cry? Are my insides going to hurt? No! <laughs> my opponent's deck is broken. Um, and they do have the double lightning energies. So it's more or less a race against the clock. Will I be able to compete against this kind of deck? There's a 10 damage. I don't need to do too much damage to knock out these Pokemon. Um, I, I'm definitely going for a huge overkill here. But it is it is going to be a bit of a spooky game here. I can't, I can't necessarily... Uh, say that i i feel overly confident at this moment uh, i mean the metal saucers is, is is hot i i can't complain about that so let's go attach return metal saucer let's go cherish ball there's the dedenne gx let's see if i can get some more um energies powered up so i can attack with mawile next turn um, Marnie and my opponent sounds pretty cool. I'm pretty sure this Pokemon's also just going to get knocked out. But in the event that it does not get knocked out... Actually, you want to what? I want to just power up the... With that. Yeah. Let's go ahead and Marnie here. Um, it's just because if that gets knocked out, I can always Metal Saucer there. Do I have another Metal Energies in my discard pile? I do not. That's fine. Let's go ahead here and retreat. I have it in hand for next turn. Um... Let's go ahead here and go Brave Blade. So I'm drawing two prize cards. My opponent's already drawn three. Um, the win con path here is I'm hoping that my opponent is not able to get set up. I hope I, I need to hope that they just don't have access to um, another two amazing blaze or however else they're going to draw prize cards. My Pokemon do have quite a bit of HP and they already have gone through their pick a or their drum uh, Trumbeak pick a peck Tapu Coco Prism Star. Um, maybe they're going to be like turbo patch, turbo patch, turbo patch. Maybe they're going to go welder attach. I'm not entirely sure what type of tricks this deck might behold, but, uh, there's their scoop up nets. So that, that might be the wave for them to get, um, one or two energies powered up. What is going to be this last card? Is this going to be another Russia Ram amazing rare? Okay, so they're really gonna go all in with the pick a packs. Um, I'm, I'm the Marnie's. The Marnie's there kind of sucks a little bit um, because I did have the Metal Saucer. Um, will I be able to find another Metal Saucer? Is the question. I mean, the Energy Spinner is not the worst part about it. 
You can always go Energy Spinner Crobats. Just really need to hope here that I'm able to knock out this Reshiram Amazing Rare um, by getting a Mawile GX set up. When in doubt, Mawile GX takes less energies than a Zacian V, so if it can get the knockout, it might be the better choice. So there's the Amazing Blaze. 140 damage. That's kind of crazy. Um, this deck seems so like so much fun. I don't know how competitively viable it is, but we're going to set up to Dunny GX so we could possibly get a Metal Saucer out. Um, hello. Um, let's go ahead here. Go Metal Saucer. That was a very hot top deck. Um, this Pokemon can take water energy, so we'll save those metal energies for our Zacians. Um, reasonably, I don't know if there's anything else that I'm looking for. Um, I could try to go Eldegoss for a Marnie. Um, I mean, my opponent did Marnie. They did go Rotom Phone. So, I mean, I think we're just kind of all in if we're all in. So, let's go ahead here with the Wily Bites. And we do have access to likely a win next turn. We did 130 damage there. Let's see if our opponent, Harrison Ford, is able to go for the knockout here. I mean, their deck certainly seems like it might. Um, sending up Jirachi there is the correct choice for sure, because they could use this amazing rare Jirachi's Dreamy Revelation ability. So that seems pretty hot for our opponent. And really just uh, trying, to, trying to vibe out here. See what's going to come. So there's the Reshiram, so we know that our opponent um, has at least three of them. And with this up being released early, they must have paid a pretty penny for those Reshirams. I know that uh, I only own like one or two copies online, and I've been uh, <laughs> actively trading it. It's tough to get some of these cards. Will they be able to go attach? I don't know if they play Turbo Patch. At this point, I, I haven't seen one that'd be ter terrifying. Will they find out? Will they find their Trumbeak? Will the Trumbeak hit? With the energies, there, there's so many things. Um, I like the Jirachi combination with um, Rotom Phone. I think that's kind of that's kind of cute. You could always leave like an energy. Okay, so they do play Turbo Patch. This is exactly what I'm scared of. Um, <laughs> yeah, this seems like a very good way to get a Reshiram and Charizard or Reshiram, not even Reshiram and Charizard. Reshiram, Reshiram, Amazing Rare powered up. So there's that. Will they be able to find another Turbo Patch? Will they be able to find... Uh, now they're dropping their three prize card... Their two prize card Pokemon. Because I've always been wondering what's the best way to run this deck. Should should they play Welder? Should they play Trumbeak? Should they play um, other Pokemon like Victini to power them up? Like it is a single prize card Pokemon. You can see even with me playing ADP, if I was playing any other um, GX VMAX deck, I wouldn't necessarily be able to kind of rush as much as I have this game. So drawing the extra prize cards is certainly hot in this matchup. I think if I started first, I would automatically win. Um, starting second is definitely put me on the back burner. And you can see with our opponent, all the all the nice little text that they put in their deck. Um, it, it, it certainly seems like a very cool deck. And I like that our opponent can go Dreamy Revelation, put an energy on top. I don't know if they even use Dreamy Revelation. Um, so they drew a card. Yeah, so I, I don't know why they didn't do that. That seems like they forgot. Um, and the Marnie is certainly, 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 certainly um, a good sign for me that they might not have it. They've already discarded the Dene, the Dene GX as well. Um... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. If we lose this one, it's it's fine. Uh, it, it's totally been a, an exciting journey. There's the fire energy. Will they be able to find the dark? I know we do enough damage with the Mawile GX. Oh, they're going to go air balloon. The air balloon's telling me that I got a chance here. Whew. Okay. And, of course, we have the top deck, the boss orders. So, we're going to go with the lowest HP Pokemon since we have two prize cards left. Giving our opponent the well played. Um, I think we could have gone through a lot more of our deck as well. But, let's go Wily Bite, knock it on the pick a peck. That was way too close. I'd love to check out our opponent's list or maybe even cover it on the channel. That was super cool, super fun deck to play against. 
Okay, we're gonna call the coin flip. Uh, let's just call heads because I feel lucky and we're gonna win the coin flip. So we're graciously gonna choose first. Um, our opponent's probably gonna be happy about going second here. Um, and I mean, this is a, it, it's one of those hands that I don't know entirely. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it. Um, we'll see exactly um, what our opponent's playing here. By the metal deck box, they might be playing Luke Metal, which this deck should probably have a pretty good chance against. Maybe they're playing uh, Turbo Zacian. I will definitely draw an extra card. Um, sure. So they're playing ADP. That's fine. So we're going to go ahead here and go Cherish Ball for an ADP. Uh, probably should have checked through my prize cards. I am going to put the Leon in the discard pile. Um, there's the Zacian V. I should have checked through to make sure that I have the water energies. Yep. So we prized a metal energy. We prized, we have a Denite GX in the active. We prized a Zacian. That's two. Uh, going through here, I mean, there's not anything crazy. We prized two metal saucers. That's three, four. Um, we did not prize a quick ball. Like, it's one of those things you just want to see, um, some of the most important cards. Again, you'd see my newest video to see if I, how it's all going to go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go like this here. And I'm just going to go ahead and go for Intrepid Sword. So nothing crazy going on there. Probably just going to try to get a Water Energy next turn for my to hit for an Altered Creation GX. Now they do play Crushing Hammers. That might be a bit of an issue. Um, I mean, they're apparently not getting very lucky either, so... Certainly, uh, we'll certainly take anything that's going well in our direction. Also had the metal saucer there too, so I mean, if they got heads, it would have been pretty okay. I'm assuming that they're okay. They're gonna grab a Dedenne GX, so their hand must be dead beyond the Dedenne GX. Water energy. It's always scary to attach the water energy first here. Um, it's usually better to attach the metal energy just because, um, if I play crushing hammers, which my opponent has no clue because we're just playing ladder, I could just rip their energy to shred, but apparently they're uh, going to be drawing extremely high here. Um, so that part's scary, of course, um, that they're just getting off an ADP on the second turn of the game and they still haven't even played on, not even the second turn, the second turn of the entire game, their first turn. Um, so that's that's certainly um, fun stuff to be looking at. Our opponent has a very good deck. <laughs> I did them with the you have a good deck and another crushing hammer. Wow, what a turn from our opponents. They are amazing. The crushing hammer here would be amazing for the mirror matchup. Um, so not gonna waste that anymore. I can definitely go in with switch into the ADP. Um, I really don't want to get rid of this hand. That's so. Um, I literally have to. So, at this rate, I gotta go to Den IGX. There is a point of me where I want to go boss orders on the Zacian V, but at this rate, they could just find a switch and be completely fine. I need to find, um, an altered creation GX's turn, otherwise I will just painfully lose this game. So let's go ahead and go for Dedenne GX. Pitching this hand, goodbye hands, I'm, I'll miss you, uh, big time. Um... I'm going to go quick ball again here. Maybe I can rip something out of my opponent's hands. Uh, Mawile is one of those prize cards. So I need to just rip this away from my hands. We're losing another boss orders, which is terrible. Will we find an energy switch and the energy? Amen. Okay. So let's go energy switch from here to here. Go rusted sword. And we could jump back into this game real quick. Um, real, real quick. So I'm going to go ahead here and just uh, attack for the altered creation. So we're one turn behind. If our opponent does not find a boss orders, great catcher. Um, we're, we're, we're certainly in a good position because they're just attacking against our ADP. If they do find a boss, they're literally playing a perfect game of ADP. And as much as, yeah. So, I mean, they are now a quick ball away from winning the game. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter if I knock out their Zacian V or not. It's, it, this is just, uh, you know, I need, I, I need to have some hope here. Um, but if, if we're going to lose against a deck, why not lose against a mirror match, right? Where, um, it shows exactly what the deck can do on both sides of the game. So 
Here we're going to set up the ADP because Ultimate Ray is going to be a very good attack. Will they have the sauce? Um, let's go Energy Spinner. Just double checking to see exactly what we have left. Um, we need to draw a prize card this turn first and foremost. So, I mean, it's going to be a simple... Um, if they don't have it, we win the game kind of checkmate. We don't have any reset stamp. Can't really play any Marnie. This is our last boss's orders. I don't really feel like going through trying to find a great catcher in a 22 card deck. That seems quite difficult. So we're going to go ahead here, Lysander this up so that we can do some extra damage. Um, knocking it out, drawing extra prize cards, I should say. And then doing ultimate ray there. Um, so if our opponent has a boss's orders, they win the game. If they have another great catcher, they win the game. If they have a quick ball for an Eldegoss, they win the game. Being able to knock out Dedenne GX. If they have a Rusted Sword, Leon, they win the game. Um, so, I mean, I, I'd say this game is basically over. However, I could just retreat the next turn and win the game um, with Zacian V. So the fact that they're sending this up basically tells me that we've lost the game. Yeah. So they got the Eldegoss um, just naturally. That's fine. Um, this shows you ex exactly how quickly it can go. Um, I've played two turns of Pokemon, or three turns of Pokemon, um, and I lost already. And that was with me going first. So my opponent, in uh, in their three turns of playing, they were able to win the game. Altered Creation, um, bo or Great Catcher, Boss, Game. So absolutely crazy match. So I know this video is a little bit shorter than I usually do for these videos. However, I have covered ADP on my channel, which seems like once a week for the past uh, month or so, maybe once every two weeks. Again, it's a lot of ADP content. So if you want to see how ADP plays out, feel free to check out any of my other ADP videos. The concepts are remaining the same. However, the Rusted Sword is really what allows you to kind of go up and beyond those plays. Did it necessarily come out in these games? Not really, but it doesn't mean that it can't hit in the particular matchups. Again, with Senta Scourge, Tag Team Pokemon, just really hitting that above threshold, bringing the deck to the top. Um, stay tuned for a lot of the videos on the channel this week that are going to be featuring Shining Fates decks. So I really hope that you enjoyed those because I'm going to have a lot of really cool concepts on the channel, really new uh, cutting edge decks that I think are really competitive. I've been putting a lot of effort behind the scenes so hopefully y'all enjoy it again if you're looking for any of the cards from shining fates or any other set go to ptcgeostore.com plug in code zlasage5 to save five percent on your next order of codes and again if you haven't hit that subscribe button hit that subscribe button right now i gotta go create some more content so i'll catch up with all of y'all later but have yourself a great one and again thank you so much for all the support everyone it means the world to me Peace out and have a great one. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. If you haven't already, it'd mean the world to me if you could subscribe to help support me as a content creator. Thanks again and have yourself a great one.